Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically add page numbers to your slides in Figma using the Pitch Deck plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to the resources icon at the top of your file, click on that and then search for Pitch Deck, that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K and under the plugins tab you'll see Pitch Deck pop up. And all you need to do is click on the run button here or I'd recommend clicking on the more options icon and then clicking save Figma plugin and that'll save it to your plugins list for later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas, I'm just gonna right click anywhere, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins, and then click on the pitch deck item that we just saved. And that'll run the plugin that we just saved a second ago. So to get started, all you need to know if you're new to the plugin is that the plugin basically works by treating any frames on your current Figma page as slides. So in this case, we've got a bunch of slides and each of them are just being set to 1920 by 1080. Uh, and then all we're doing is basically including text layers and image layers inside of each frame. And those get treated as the contents of each slide in the plugin where you can add animations and embeds and things like that. So for this tutorial, I'm not gonna go through all those things in detail. Uh, if you wanna check that out, there's some other tutorials on the YouTube channel that you can look at. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna assume that you've already got your presentation and design set up the way you want. And all you wanna do now is add some page numbers automatically, which we can do using a new feature in the plugin. So to open up that feature, you just click on the little page icon in the top left of your Figma plugin. So we can click on this icon here, and that's gonna add a new modal or a new pop-up window uh, with some options here for our page numbers. So what this does is it essentially creates a slide number Figma component, and then it automatically updates the slide numbers whenever those are rearranged or added or removed in the plugin. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So if you go ahead and click on the enable auto slide numbers toggle, so I'm gonna click on that. And you can see here when I enable that, it actually creates a brand new layer in our Figma file, which we can jump to easily by clicking on this little component icon here. So when we click on that, it'll automatically jump to that component in our file. And you can see here that it's got three text layers inside of it. It's got a dark text layer, a light text layer, and a custom text layer. And what those do is it basically allows you to style and customize the page numbers depending on what kind of style you wanna use for them. So for example, you can see in this case, it's automatically gone through and created instances of each of those components. So we can see here, we've got automatic page numbers on the bottom right of all of our frames. And we can customize the position of that, for example. So if we wanted to change that to be the top right, we can just change that and it'll automatically move that. We can make it top left. We can do center, uh, all different positions, depending on where we wanna style those. And you can also do things like add leading zeros. So if you wanna add zero, so for, for example, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, you can toggle that as well, and that'll automatically do that for you. Um, and then in terms of the colors, as I mentioned, uh, by default, it will set to this uh, auto text color setting, which essentially takes the background color of the frame. So in this case, we've got a black background color, which is just a solid fill. Uh, and then in this one, we've got a solid white. And so what it's doing is it's calculating whether this text layer should be dark or light based on the solid background color of each frame. And then what we can do is we can actually customize the light and dark uh, colors. So if we go to our component and then we go to the dark text color, for example, you can see by default, it's set to black with a 75% opacity. But of course we can change that if we wanted to make it a different color. So we could make that, uh, you know, a more purple color and we can change that. And that'll automatically change it for all of our instances through here. Uh, the same thing goes for the light text color. So by default, that's just set to white with a 75% opacity. We can obviously go ahead and change that if we wanted to. So in this case, we could make it green uh, and change that there. And that will automatically update anywhere where the dark or light uh, versions are being used in the instances. Uh, we can also change it from auto text color to just using the dark text color. So if you wanted to only make it use the dark text color for everything, you can do that. Same thing with light. You can make it always use the light text color. Uh, or you can go with the third option and make it use a custom text color. So if you wanna just have a totally different color uh, in its own kind of category, there's a third option, which is the custom text color. And you can go ahead and just change that to whatever you want as well. And that will be applied to everything. Uh, on top of just colors, you can of course style the text. So for example, if we change this to top left and then change the size, 
you can see when we increase that, it's automatically anchored to the top left. Uh, the same thing would happen if we changed it to, top, to uh, bottom right. So if we go to the bottom right uh, and then we increase or decrease that font size, uh, the instances are automatically constrained to the bottom right. So it'll always lay to scale up or down and keep the anchor position wherever the corner or the edge is in that instance. So that's really handy for doing that. Um, you can also change the font. So we can change that to be bold. Uh, we can change it to be a totally different font if we wanted to. Uh, so we can change that in here. And you can basically just customize this however you want. And keeping in mind, I'm doing all of this from the master component. So we've got the component up here with our three text layers. And these are always gonna get injected into the instances automatically. So you can basically style it in one place and have that style apply to every frame in your file automatically uh, without having to go one by one. You can just style it centrally and that makes it really easy uh, for doing that. So I'm just gonna set that back to auto and just use our other components that we had set up. And you can see if we change the ordering of these slides in our plugin. So for example, at the moment, we've just got it set to uh, sort visually. So we're doing it from top to bottom visually. But if we were to reverse that, for example, and sort it from bottom to top, you can see here that the slide numbers changed automatically. So we've got now 01, 02, 03, and we're ending at 09 up here because we reversed that order. Uh, and you can also do this by manually dragging and dropping. So if we made uh, principle six, slide one, you can see if we now go to principle six, it's made that as the first slide in the ordering of the numbers. Uh, again, if we move that down, changed it to two, it automatically changes it to two. So this is a really easy way of keeping all the slide numbers in sync, depending on what they're set at in the Pitch Deck plugin. Uh, the same thing applies if you decide to remove some slides from the export. So for example, if we didn't want slide six in there at all, uh, we can just remove that and it removes the page number and it will automatically recalculate all the other numbers based on that. So you can see here the last frame uh, in this case is set to 08. If we start removing more, that'll just keep going down because the total number of slides is being decreased. Uh, so those slide numbers take into account which slides and how many slides are active uh, in the presentation itself through the plugin. So that's a really easy way to keep all of your page numbers in sync. Uh, without having to manually recalibrate them or update them manually uh, every single time you rearrange them. Uh, so that's essentially it. I just wanted to run through all the different ways that you can use this new feature to customize the slide numbers. You can see if the setting is active by seeing this little blue dot next to the icon, next to that page icon. Uh, so that'll just let you know if the auto slide uh, setting is active. So you can go in there and if you wanna turn it off, you can just go ahead and click on the enable auto slide numbers toggle again and disable it. And what that'll do is it'll just remove all of the instances that were being added automatically to all of your slides. So they, those go away completely, uh, but it will keep the component uh, hidden. So it'll, it won't delete it entirely. And the reason for that is just in case you've spent some time styling uh, some of those page numbers, then uh, when you re-enable it, it'll just resume those styles that you've already had got set up uh, in there. So you don't have to restyle them if you decide to temporarily uh, disable the slide numbers from showing up. Um, uh, but if you did wanna remove it entirely from your file, all you need to do is disable this and then you can go ahead and manually just delete the component. So remove it entirely. And then if you then re-enable the slide numbers uh, toggle, that'll just reset the component back to where we had it at the start with the default styles and default values. Um, so that's essentially what that looks like there. Um, and of course, these will get included with any exports. So if you would now export this deck uh, to any of the export options, so if you click on the export button, uh, we can either export it to the Pitch Deck web application, which will let you present the slides in the browser and you can share that link with people, or you can export it to PowerPoint or Google Slides or Keynote, uh, or we can also just export it to a PDF deck. And if we export it to PDF, uh, we can essentially just export that out as a static PDF file. And once that's done, we can download it to our computer. And if I open that up now, we can see the page numbers will be in there as expected. So those are in there. Uh, each slide has its own page number, just as we designed it in Figma uh, with the plugin automatically adding those in to each of the slides. Um, so that's what that looks like there. 
So um, yeah, I think we'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to run through this new feature with you uh, in case you've been wondering how to automatically add slide numbers to your Figma pages or Figma slides. Uh, this is a really easy way to go about doing it without having to manually manage a deck, especially if you've got dozens of pages that are constantly getting added and removed and rearranged. Uh, this is a really easy way of kind of putting that on autopilot and allowing you to style them centrally from this slide number component that the plugin helps automatically generate. Um, so yeah, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.